the day of Pentecost is today. Hallelujah. I'm going to start in Acts chapter 2. But let's pray together this morning. And thank you for viewing. Lord, we praise you today for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your fire today. We thank you that you're going to touch our hearts and speak to us of this day, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We come to you right now with open hearts and with ears that can hear what the Spirit would say to us today. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done for us, what you did on the cross for us, what you did in your resurrection, Lord, what you're doing even today uh, in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this message today because I get excited about the Holy Spirit. Oh, I thank the Holy Spirit for living in me and moving in me and manifesting himself uh, in, the, in the church today. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 2, and when the day of Pentecost, oh, today is Pentecost, hallelujah, was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Hallelujah. Oh, that's a, a message all within itself. Praise the name of Jesus. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. This message is entitled, Prophesy to the Wind. Hallelujah. And it filled all of the house where they were sitting. And appeared, and there appeared unto them tongues of fire upon their heads. And it set upon them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Can you say Amen. Hallelujah. That's where the church needs to be today. Uh, we need to be in that upper room. Uh, we need to be in one accord. Uh, oh, praise the name of Jesus. You know, if we go on into Acts, and I want to go to the Old Testament in just a few moments, uh, but I, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm so excited about the Word today. Hallelujah. Because I know that it's going to bring life to us. It's going to be bring, bring life and an awakening uh, to your spirits today. Hallelujah. If we go on in Acts chapter 2, you know, people keep saying, Oh, uh, there's revival coming. There's revival coming. But praise God, there are certain things that have to happen uh, before that revival can come. But if we look over in, in Acts chapter 2, Peter is prophesying. Peter is preaching the word. He is telling about Jesus. Hallelujah. And in verse 38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you and to your children and to those that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Praise the name of Jesus. That's where we are right now. We are in an awakening. The Holy Spirit is shaking things. The Holy Spirit is hovering over the face of the earth. He's hovering over you today. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He is hovering over the waters today. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. How many of you know that Jesus is coming back for a glorious church without spot and without blemish? Oh, in Ephesians 5, 27, it says that, that he's coming back. How many of you know? Say it with me. He's coming back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. You're touching people even right now, Lord. You're touching them in their, in their core beings uh, in the name of Jesus. And I see that awakening. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. As I look around me at these days we're living in, I question how much longer will it be? Till the Father reaches over, touches Jesus on the shoulder, says, Son, 
bring my family home to me. You know, see, I see that. I see that in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. I see the Lord putting things in order. I see the Lord getting everything ready and into position. Praise the name of Jesus. Now let's go to Ezekiel chapter 37. Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy by the Holy Spirit and through the Holy Spirit and concerning the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. In verse 1, uh, in chapter 37 of Ezekiel, the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he carried me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and he set me down in the midst uh, of a, a valley full of bones. How many of you know that there are bones out there that they need the Word of God spoken to them? Hallelujah. And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were many in this open valley, and lo, they were very dry. There's another scripture that comes up in me strong right now, and it says that there's going to be many in the valley of decision. Should I go with Jesus, or should I go over this direction? Hallelujah. There's only one way to go, and that's Jesus. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, and I said, Oh, Lord God, you know. You know all things, Lord. You know about these, these people. You know about these dry bones. And again, I said, he said to me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them. See, the Holy Spirit will give you what to say about your family. He will give you what to say about your ministry. He will give you what to say about the church today. He will give you what to say about your finances he will give you what to say about your body. Hallelujah. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Begin to prophesy. In 1 Corinthians, it says that all can prophesy. Hallelujah. Not all are prophets, but all can prophesy. You can speak the word of God, and you can know that God will hasten to perform his word. Hallelujah. Can you give the Lord some praise today? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I see some of you dancing around. I see some of you leaping right now. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord God about these bones. Behold, I will cause breath uh, to enter into you, and you shall live. Prophesy life. Hallelujah. And I will lay muscles or sinews upon you and will bring up flesh about you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. That's what we want. We want people to know that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Verse 7, so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied uh, there was a noise Hallelujah. Can it be that same mighty wind that we just read about in Acts chapter 2? Could it be the Holy Ghost began to hover and began to move? I'm asking you that question right now. And there was a shaking and the bones came together. Not bone to bone, but bone to his bone. Hallelujah. That speaks to me about revival. Hallelujah. And when I beheld, lo, the, the muscles and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them, and but there was still no breath in them. And then he said unto me, Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy the word of God by the Spirit of God to your bodies. Hallelujah. To your families. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these that are slain, that they may live. How many of you know that the enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy everything that concerns you? Hallelujah. But praise God, the rest of that verse says, but. You always want to read after the but, because after the but is what is important. Hallelujah. And it says, but Jesus has come to give you life and to give you life more abundantly. Oh, glory to his name forever. 
So I prophesied him in verse 10. So I prophesied. And he kind of commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived. And they stood up on their feet. An exceeding great army. Glory. He's talking about the body of Christ. The glorious church is coming forth. His bride is coming forth to meet her groom. Hallelujah. 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 You know, what is our part? Our part is to prophesy. Our part is to speak the word. Ride around in your car and speak to the hospitals and speak to the schools and speak to the, the church buildings. Hallelujah. That's what Brother Fred and I do. God will send us to this city and that city uh, across the, the, the country he has sent us. Hallelujah. And we begin to prophesy and we begin to speak his word. Hallelujah. And there's a shaking that comes to that community. A shaking that comes to that school. A shaking that comes to that church congregation. Hallelujah. Let there be a shaking what the enemy has meant for evil, God is turning for good in your life, in the body of Christ, in the world today. Hallelujah. Because you see, my God is the, the, the king and the, and the Lord of this earth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, if we go back to, to Acts chapter 2, uh, and I said, they were in one room, in one accord. They were in unity. You know, that speaks of John 17 to me, where Jesus prayed in his, in his uh, prayer over the, over the body of Christ and over the family of God. He said, let them be one. Father, let them be one just as we were one. Hallelujah. Just as we are one, let them be one. And it says that, that the world will see. What does that speak of? That speaks of revival. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Praise the name of Jesus. When we come into one accord with the word of God. When we come into unity with each other. Hallelujah. And all of these uh, schisms and divisions are broken down by the spirit of God. What is God shaking today? He's shaking that division. He's shaking. Oh, well, you know, our congregation knows everything. Our denomination knows everything. I spit on that. I spit on it. Because Jesus is coming to unity. Coming to unity of the faith. To the full stature of Jesus Christ. That's the glorious church, people. That's where, that's where we're headed on this day of Pentecost, let the Holy Ghost come upon you. Let him begin to flow over you. Oh, glory, glory. Let him uh, revive you. Uh, let him uh, uh, let you stand up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. A mighty army is marching through the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty warrior, dressed for battle. Holy Lord of all is he. Commander in chief, bring us to attention. Lead us into battle to crush the enemy. Jesus has all authority here in this place. He has all authority here. For this habitation is fashioned for the Lord's presence. All authority here. Does Jesus have authority in your life? Does he have authority in your home? Does he have authority uh, in everything that you do and say? Hallelujah. Does Jesus have authority uh, in on your property? Uh, does Jesus have... Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I see some of you saying, yes, yes, he has authority. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord, I just ask you that your, your church come forth uh, in that glorious array. Hallelujah. 
Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, with the royal apparel on. Uh, with the ring of authority on. Uh, with the robe of righteousness on. Uh, with the crowns uh, upon, upon our head, Lord. Uh, let the church come forth in Jesus' name. Oh, the day of Pentecost is here today. Hallelujah. I see the Lord pouring out his spirit upon you today and giving you a freshness and giving you an awakening uh, in your spirit, man. Uh, there are some of you that have been dormant. You've let the word of God be dormant in you. But the Lord says, begin to prophesy to the dry bones. Uh, begin to prophesy uh, to the to the the, the things that, that God has called you to. Uh, begin to prophesy life uh, to that ministry. I speak to ministries to come alive again in the name of Jesus. To be revived. To be revived in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to Jesus today. He is the King. He is Savior and Lord. He wants to be your Savior today if you've never accepted Him. And all you have to do is confess Him as the Son of God and believe in your heart that He rose again and hallelujah and that He lives inside of you. And do it today. Praise the name of Jesus. And if you need a refreshing of the Holy Spirit, I ask the Holy Spirit uh, to baptize you afresh with the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name. And that fire will be upon you. And fire will be in you. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. I see people's necks being healed. I see, I see the disc at the top of the neck. And uh, that, that's been inflamed. And the Lord says that that inflammation is gone. And you're going to be able to move your head. Praise the name of Jesus. I see finances coming. Uh, there, there are people that are sitting there and you're, you're saying, well, I don't know how I'm going to get through uh, the next month. Hallelujah. And the Lord is your provider. Believe him for provision today in the name of Jesus. And I speak those finances to come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Can you say glory with me today? Praise you, Jesus. I see an arm being healed. I'm seeing an arm that has not, that has not functioned properly uh, in several weeks, but the Lord says he's healing that arm. Oh, just do like this. Just move that arm in Jesus' name. Uh, move it up and move it out. Oh, hallelujah. That arm is healed. I see it. I see it in the name of Jesus. I see, I see a, a person who has a hernia uh, right now in the name of Jesus. That hernia is uh, going back uh, into the place where it needs to be uh, in the name of Jesus. Back Thank into you. that that area. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. That hernia is healed in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Praise the name of the Lord forever. I see some of you that have been having uh, issues with your heart uh, and you, you felt fatigued and, and out of energy and the Lord is, is increasing your blood supply uh, to in and, and from the heart. Hallelujah. I see it flowing freely. Uh, whatever, uh, there was a blockage there. It was a 60% blockage in one of your arteries and God has just touched it in the name of Jesus and free. Free that artery uh, in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, you're good. Oh, God is good, isn't he? Oh, you're so good. Thank you for watching today.